due to lockdown easing in the UK, we've recently been away um, on our first holiday traveling with little baby Calvin, who's now 11 weeks old. Um, and here are just some tips on things that worked well for us. Have some flexible feeding options when going without a prep machine. So you could use RTDs, they're ready to drink um, bottles when required. They come in the small to large size, or you can prepare in advance and store in the fridge for night feeds, for example, or where you, you can use um, fridges. Number two, uh, cold water sterilization. So we, if you don't have any access to boiled water, this is helpful um, because it's, it's no plus you just drop in the tablets uh, and wait 15 minutes and then the bottles are ready to be used. Number three, uh, using a pram carry cot for sleeping at night. So we took off the foot muff, uh, the hood and the, um, the bump bar uh, and then put that in the um, room just right next to our bed. Um, we moved a coffee table and put the little carry cot on top and that worked really well. Number four, so uh, using white noise. Um, you can get portable travel white noise machines um, uh, but just for something easy, you can either use your phone or um, in the accommodation we were staying at there was a radio So I just turned it to FM mode uh, and then just turned it between stations and there was some white noise there So that, that worked really well Number five um, Adjusting your packing based on where you're going. So for example, if you're going to be somewhere um, that's a bit more remote uh, You might need to pack a little bit more so having lots of outfit options in case you some gets dirty uh, or um, you might also need to pack some extra nappies and wipes that sort of thing um, or if you're going to be somewhere where there's lots of shops and you can just quickly pick up anything if you happen to run out um, then you can pack a bit lighter number six bringing a carrier for times when the baby just wants a cuddle so especially when you're taking long car drives or babies in the pram a lot um, we found that there was times where he just wanted a cuddle but we were still needing to be on the move um, that's where a carrier really came in handy uh, number seven, to so bring a play mat or a towel or something like that. Uh, we found that this was helpful when he just wanted to lie down and we needed somewhere sort of clean um, and dry to put him on. So we had a towel that we put on top of our change mat um, and then we also put the base for the sort of this little play pin, uh, play gym, baby gym that he has. Uh, and that was really compact, it can fold up really, really small and that was easy just to pop in a bag. Number eight, um, a pram shade. So um, we found this really handy when we were out and about and it was great for uh, making sort of a dark environment for Calvin to sleep in. Um, it would also protect him from the sun. And we also used it indoors when we were uh, in, our, in our accommodation uh, and he wanted to take a nap and just the room was really bright because it was daytime. Um, you can also bring a travel um, blackout blind, so we have one of those, but that, that is a bit larger. But if you had the room then you could also bring that and that would work well, but we found the snoo shade. It, it's so small and we were using it for the pram anyway. Next, um, keeping an eye on time. So for us uh, at the moment, Calvin is feeding every three to four hours. Uh, so it was really just keeping an eye on you know, when his next feed would be due and what would what we'd be doing at that time. Um, and then we may need to adjust depending on what we were hoping to do. So we might need to feed him, you know, sort of wake him up and feed him or him sort of get his bottle prepared uh, a little earlier than planned. And uh, number 10, so just really just having a sort of no fixed plan or no specific deadlines of when you have to be somewhere by a certain time. So we just found this um, created less stress. Um, so obviously if you did have a deadline such as a flight or checking out of accommodation by a certain time then I would just recommend allow plenty of time. So for us we always plan to be out by a certain time and we're always late so just getting up early and you can always chill at the end if you're early but you don't want to be running around stressing out because you never know when baby is going to need an extra feed or you know, a nappy change or a full outfit change or something like that. So just allow plenty of time and I found that that works really well. 